Alright, welcome back to Nico Knows Tech. I'm of course Nico. Now you probably didn't know how to install Windows 10 on a computer. Well today I'm going to show you how you can install Windows 10, but a portable version on USB. Nico Knows Tech, all your tech tips and reviews on deck. Nico Knows Tech, number one channel with the news on deck. Now there's countless benefits to having a portable operating system. You could use it on a machine that you're borrowing but you don't want to mess with their windows, you want to repair windows, or you just want to do something on an operating system without affecting the one that's on your computer. Well, I'm going to show you how to do this quick and easy. Alright, to create our portable Microsoft Windows, we're first going to need to get a few things. The first thing we're going to need is the Windows Media Creation Tool. You can get that at the link in the description. Once you get to the page here, you're going to go down to Download Tool Now. We're going to go ahead and download that. We'll save the file. And once it's done downloading, we'll go ahead and open it. Right now, Big Tech is collecting data on everything you do online and building a profile on you for financial gain, and you don't see a penny of it. Take back your privacy and take back control over your connected life by using a reliable VPN. Unsecure websites and public Wi-Fi are the easiest ways hackers can wreak havoc in your lives. But if you have NordVPN with its military-grade encryption, lightning-fast speed, and over 5,000 servers worldwide, you can browse safely and privately. NordVPN also has state-of-the-art, dedicated peer-to-peer -peer servers to protect your usage from your ISP, as well as Big Brother and with the advanced obfuscation servers, you can access blocked websites or even streaming services such as Netflix, Hulu, and more anywhere in the world. NordVPN has a strict no-logs policy and has never and will never be pressured by governments. Take back your privacy today and use my exclusive link in the description to get a huge discount on NordVPN. Stay safe. First, it's going to get a few things ready. Once we get to here, we're going to accept the terms. Alright, once we get to this point, we're going to have two options to upgrade this PC now or create installation media. We're going to select the second option here, create installation media, and then we'll click next. And here you'll see that the language has already been uh, set for us. And here we're going to uncheck use recommended options for this PC because we're not going to be using this PC necessarily. We're making a portable operating system that can work on all computers. We'll click next. And then here you can choose USB flash drive or ISO file. In this case, we're going to choose ISO file. Then you'll choose where you're going to save it. I'm going to choose the desktop. And we're going to save this Windows ISO file. Now this process can take anywhere from 10 minutes to 45 minutes, depending on your system. All right, and now that it's finished, we can click Finish. All right, it's going to automatically close. The next thing we're going to need is we're going to need to get Rufus. And you can get that again at the link in the description. We're going to get to this website here. We're going to scroll down and I'm going to go ahead and get the portable version. The portable version doesn't require being installed, so I'm going to use that. Once it's downloaded, you can go ahead and open it. And I don't need it to check for updates, so I'm going to click no. Once it's opened, you're going to need to insert your flash drive of your choice. It should be an 8 gigabyte flash drive, preferably. But the bigger the drive and the faster the drive, the better of an experience you're going to have. Because if you use an 8 gigabyte drive, you're going to have maybe 500 megabytes of space to actually use the operating system and install applications. So in this case, I'm going to use a 128 gigabyte flash drive on a USB-C port. But, you know, any USB 3, even a USB 2.0 will work. But the faster and bigger, the better. So you'll just grab the USB port and you'll shove it into that USB port and show that computer that you can thrust with authority. <laughs> Alright, once that the drive is inserted, you're going to select, make sure the drive is properly selected. It's found my 128 gigabyte flash drive. And then you're going to choose disk or ISO image. So we're going to select that and we're going to go to the desktop where I, where I made that ISO file. We'll select windows.iso and then under image option we're going to change this to windows to go. We'll leave the rest the way it is. We can change the label. You can leave the label how it is but I like to label it windows to go. Alright then we can click start 
and you can choose your version. I'm going to choose Windows 10 Pro. Actually, I'm going to choose Windows Pro N. This is the European Union version. Due to some lawsuits by the European Union, Windows 10 is prevented from having a lot of the multimedia and marketing stuff like Skype preloaded. So if you want to make this a little bit lighter, you can still add Skype and media player and all that stuff later. But I'm going to make it pretty scaled down for this portable option. It's warning me that all of the data on this USB drive is going to be erased because this drive is going to be repurposed as an install. All right, and it's going to make the drive for us quickly. All right, and once it's complete, you can just click close. And that is it. You are done. I knew you could do it. But seriously, now you can use that USB flash drive on your computer, any computer, and when you load it in and you tell it to boot from USB, it's not going to install Windows. Instead, it's going to set up Windows for the first time just as if you installed it, but it's actually on your USB and not your hard drive. So it's going to ask you to create a username and all of the things to set up Windows for the first time. But again, it's on the USB and not on the actual computer itself. So then you can start adding things. You could start you could create your own tech tool by adding a dozen antivirus uh, software on there and then start using it as a as a standalone tool for repairing Windows computers. Or you can plug it into your partner's computer and start bypassing their passwords. Hey, but I, you didn't get that from me, or did you? Congratulations on making it to the end of the video. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you like it, please click like and consider subscribing. You can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, or you can support me on Patreon. And I will see you next time.